So the first thing I'm going to do is actually prep my hair for my relaxer. So basically what I'm, what I'm going to do is just like section off my hair in like four different sections. Um, so I'll have like a front section, two front sections, and then I'll have two back sections. So and I just kind of like look at it and just kind of, you know, judge it and, you know, base, base it how much I want or base how much I want on each section just by just glancing at it, obviously. So this looks about as much as I'm going to need for each section. So then once I get each section or once I get a section, I just take a little roller band just to kind of keep it away from each other. And then I'm going to do the same for this section. So this is about as much as I need for the back section. So again, I'm going to get a rubber band and just section this off. And then I'm going to section off the other side too. So over here, just kind of like do a section and I'm not, it doesn't have to be neat or I don't make this, you know, neat. I just need them sectioned off so that I can just kind of begin to prep my hair. Um, so that's basically it. And then I'm going to section off this side as well. And yeah, so that's it as far as how I section it off. So like I said, I just section off, section off into four little sections and then um, I'm ready to actually prep the hair. All right, then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to oil my scalp, and this is just like an old, like little bottle, like old hair oil bottle that I had from, I can't remember where, but I use um, several different hair oils. I mainly use this Argan oil. I use this like all over my hair, um, just to kind of keep it moisturized. But I use this um, Africa, Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. It has so many different types of um, oils in it. So I used to save the kind of oil it has in here, um, or the ingredients rather, but I don't have time to really look it up. But anyway, I use this. So this is basically what's in this bottle. So I use this on my scalp just because it's really moisturizing and I want to make sure my scalp is protected from the actual relaxer. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do take out each section again and then I'm just gonna basically just kind of massage this into my scalp so I'm just basically just like spreading it like in my hair here and then I'm gonna take it and just kind of just kind of massage it like I said into my scalp just to kind of you know evenly just you know distribute it into my scalp and so I'm basically gonna do this with all the sections just to make sure my hair is nice and, or my scalp is nice and moisturized to protect it from getting any kind of um, chemical burn. And then I'll just put some down the middle here as well. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do is just all my scalp up. And then once I'm done with each section again, I'm just going to put it in a little, um, little rubber band and do the next section. All right, now I'm done oiling my scalp and prepping my hair. Now I'm going to actually put the relaxer in. So this is the relaxer that I'm going to use tonight. And this one is by Dark and Lovely. And I've never used this one before, I don't think. Um, I usually use like the African Pride. And there's another one that I use, but I thought I changed it up. Because um, every now and again, I kind of change them up. Like I'll use the same one for a few months or so. Um, actually, I usually use one, the same one for about six months. And then I try to switch them out just because my hair just gets used to things. And so I'm um, at least relaxers anyway. So I'm going to try this one out. And I always use the regular because these, y'all know, if you know anything about relaxers, they come in regular and super, super is too strong for my hair, for my scalp. So I just use regular because I don't want my hair, number one, to be bone straight. And number two, I don't want to burn my scalp off. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to use this one and... So we'll just open up the packet or the packaging and see what all is in here. Which is like I said, I've never used this one before. So 
I'm gonna see what's all in here. So here is the contents of it. So of course we have the relaxer cream and it tells you step one, I guess. And then we have the, um, what's this? The recharge moisture mask. So I guess this is like a little leave-in conditioner type of situation um, or just basically like a, um, a mask. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna use a mask after I wash the relaxer out. I'm gonna put a mask on and just leave it on overnight. I'm gonna use a different one, so I'm not gonna use this, uh, but it's good to have. And then this is the neutralizing shampoo. I always use a neutralizing shampoo. Um, and then I use one of my regular shampoos that I typically use on my hair. And then this is the post treatment with protein. Again, I'm not gonna use this because I'm gonna use some of my own products. And then what is this? This is the Recovery Shine Cream. So I'm assuming that's something you put on like after you dried your hair and you're getting ready to style. And then um, it comes with, what is this, cream activator? So I'm assuming this is what I'm going to actually put into the cream. So usually it comes in a bottle, kind of similar to this. Most of them come in like a little bottle, but I guess this one comes with, um, the little packets that I'm gonna put in here to activate it and everything so and then it comes of course with the directions which I'm sure there are some gloves in here I always use gloves and it's probably a like a little um, what do you call it like a tongue depressor type of situation here it's for me to mix it up so um, so yeah so I'm going to mix it up and then apply it and I'm gonna show you guys how I do this so let me get the gloves out I try to get my own gloves, but I forgot to buy some gloves, so I'm gonna use these. And I hate to use the gloves that come with it because they are too big for my hands, and I'm, this thing's always slipping off my hand as I'm putting in the relaxer, but this is all I got, so this is what I'm gonna use, so. All right, so, yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put the, um, or open the cream relaxer, and then I'm gonna put in this the little elixir so i need some scissors to kind of cut these open um it has a place for me to actually just peel it off but i'm gonna i cut it and then i'm just gonna fold it and then put it in here so like this so we're just going to just put all this in here um and then another step i do because i don't like again like i said i don't like for my hair to be bone straight i just really just need to relax her too make it easier to comb my hair so i typically will um weaken this a little bit more by adding my um uh conditioner so i'm gonna get my conditioner and also put this in here all right so this is the conditioner i use and this is by herbal essences and this is the hello hydration conditioner and i'm just gonna put like a few pumps in here like probably that much well let me put a little bit more like I don't like to put too much and I just kind of eyeball it because I don't want to put too much where it's not going to make my hair straight at all and I don't want to put too little to where it's not going to do the desired effect which is to make my hair more text lax than really relaxed. My hair is really text lax because like I said my hair is not really bone straight but it's straight enough so anyway I'm just going to stir it up real real good here and yeah so stir it up just gonna keep stirring it up until um, I don't see any more of the blue part because typically if I don't see any more of the conditioner my conditioner in here then that means it's pretty much well um, well mixed so it's gonna continue to mix this up and then apply it to my new growth all right and this is kind of like what it looks like it kind of looks a little bit like some cement or something um, but this is kind of like what it looks like after I thoroughly mixed it up here so all right so now all i've got to do is start applying it to my uh new growth and so um every month or i should not every month because i don't do a relax every month um by the way i do a retouch every eight weeks if long if not longer my hair grows really really fast so eight weeks is probably a kind of too often for some people but for me because my hair grows super super fast like i'm on a multivitamin like a one a day like multivitamin type of thing and it has biotin in it and biotin my hair loves biotin it pretty much grows like weeds when i take uh, my multivitamin so my hair grows back really really fast um my hair probably grows 
every week, I would say. So um, that's why I do every eight weeks. Um, number one, that's like the recommendation from my hairstylist a long time ago when I was getting my hair done with a hairstylist. Um, and also, again, because my hair grows back so, so super fast that I need to put a retouch in or else my hair breaks off and it's just not easy to manage and comb. So every eight weeks is what I do. Um, so every eight weeks, whenever I do my retouch, I try to remember, if I can remember, I try to switch up the sides. So usually I start in the back. Um, I think the last time I did it, I started in the back. Um, just because I, if I start in the front, this is the part that's gonna be relaxed the longest. And I don't want my, you know, this part of my scalp um, to get burnt. <laughs> Cause if, if, if my scalp does get burnt, which hopefully it won't, um, then you know if it gets burned then this will be the part that will show so i typically start in the back and work my way up because really the back with a the thickest part of my hair is in the back so i need the relaxer on the back um longer um but sometimes i try to switch it up but like i said because the back part of my hair is the thickest i start in the back and just work my way up so all right so then you're gonna start on this section and again i'm not super like precise as far as parting like I do have a rat tail comb that I use to part but especially the front I'm not a super like crazy about trying to get the parting just right so yeah and I just use the um, little spool little stick here and I'm going to just start applying it to the back so I'm gonna try to turn so you guys can see so hopefully you guys can see um, you may not be able to, but yeah, just kind of start in the back and then, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully I'm not like making a mess, so hopefully you guys can see, but I'm basically just going to just keep parting in the back and then I just start, I'll start taking my hands and dip and like use it as like a little cup and just, you know, start getting it out and start, and I like to use my hands because I can feel back there. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to just start applying it back here. Like I said, I'm not like super crazy about trying to make sure the parts are super even. I'm just basically going to just feel for where I need to put the relaxer. And yeah, just start placing it and working my way up. And then I'm going to start on the other side. So yeah, so I'm going to start or come finish. I'm um, putting the rest on this side. All right, so that is this side complete. Uh, like I said, hopefully you guys can see, but this is one side in the back complete. Now I'm just going to start um, on this opposite side, and I'm going to do the same thing, like literally all over my head. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna record all that because it's basically me doing the same thing just all over my head. So, and um, what I found is all in my scalp, because I know a lot of people probably don't oil their scalp before they put their relaxers on, but I find that when I oil my scalp, it just makes it easier for me to part. And it's not as, my hair is not as stiff, like my new growth is not as stiff when um, I put the oil on my scalp. So, anyway, so I'm going to finish, do the exact same thing on this side as I did on the other side and yeah you guys won't be able to see because I have this the angle is just awful but um, I'll be back with the final result from the back all right so here is the back completed and hopefully you guys can see that but yeah so the back is completed and now I'm gonna start from the or start and do the rest and yeah I don't, don't pick any particular side and I just basically do the same thing that I did in the back I'm just going to take some on my hand and literally just put it on my edges. I don't put I don't put much on my edges because I don't, again, don't want my edges to burn off. And then as I'm going, I try to wipe off some off of my um, face so that it's not like staying on there. But um, so usually I'll take, because I can see, I can take a comb and just kind of part this part here. And usually I find that's a little bit helpful to just kind of use that comb. So yeah, basically I'm gonna do the same thing and just part 
and apply the relaxer. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do on this side. All right, so that is it with this side. And I'm gonna put a little bit here because this is where I typically wear my part. So I wanna make sure that is nice and straight. Um, so yeah, I try to wipe off some of the relaxer off of my face because this is typically, if I burn myself, it's usually around here in this area. So um, but yeah, so that is this side. And I'm literally gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So um, I'm not gonna record that. So I'll be right back once I'm done with this side and show you guys the finished product. All right, and here is the finished product. So I just finished um, doing this side. So this is the finished product and it's already starting to work because I see my hair. I don't know, I, I can't really explain it, but I can tell it's starting to work because I can feel my hair just more relaxed, I guess, if you will. So, um, and then what I do is I just kind of massage it a little bit into or massage it just to kind of make it straight or massage it so that my um, roots start, start getting straighter. So, um, but yeah, so that is basically it. That's how I apply it. I know everybody applies their relaxers differently and some people probably use like one of those little, um, little comb brush things. I see a lot of people using those. Like I said, you know, you gotta do what works for you. I've been doing my relaxers probably for 20 years now. So I know what works for me and you know, I don't stray away from what works, right? So um, I tried using those before, but it's just too much work. <laughs> like when I can literally just apply it with my fingers. Um, but this is the finished look here, or the finished product really. I shouldn't say the finished look, but this is it. This is how I apply my relaxers every time. So um, it is starting to burn. So that means it's time to take it out. And I literally don't even keep it in longer than like five or 10 minutes. 10 minutes is too long. Like I would have already gotten in the shower by now, but I'm just showing you guys the finished product. So I am going to turn my shower on, clean up some of this mess because I made a huge mess because I always do when I do my relaxers. And then I'll come back um, after I'm done washing it out and we'll do the next step, which is my deep conditioning. So I'm gonna deep condition it overnight and then wash the deep conditioner out in the morning. So, but yeah, I'll be back once I wash it out. Oh, and usually I have some left over, but, or I don't, usually I don't have any left over, but I have a good bit left over. So um, usually the ones that I use, other ones that I use, I don't have any left over. So that's good that I had some left over, but some people, if they have a lot left over, will save it for another application and like we'll put it in the refrigerator, but that's not enough for my big old head. So, um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna wash off all my stuff here. I'm gonna wash mainly my comb. Um, that I used for the front of my head. So, and then um, I'm gonna wash it out. So, but yeah, I'll be back once I wash it out. All right, so I am done washing all the relaxer out. And excuse me, like if I had like raccoon eyes, I forgot to take off my mascara before I got in the shower. Cause it is the end of the night. Like it's almost like 10 o'clock. So um, I forgot to take my mascara off. So anyway, so I'm done with um, washing all the relaxer out. So this is how the hair is looking. Ooh, it is super soft too. Um, I meant to show you guys what I used in the shower. So obviously I used the um, uh, neutralizing shampoo that came with the relaxer. So I do that twice. I usually will wash my hair twice with the neutralizing shampoo, just to make sure I get all of the relaxer out of my hair, out of my scalp. So that's just like an extra step I do. And then once I'm done with that, I'll take my own like shampoo. This is by um, OGX, one of my favorite brands. And this is the Coconut Miracle Oil Shampoo um, Damage Remedy Plus Extra Strength. So this is the one that I have been using, but I use OGX products a lot. So, um, so yeah, so I use the neutralizing shampoo twice and then I go in with this. And then I went in with my, um, conditioner the herbal essences conditioner my hair loves that i've been using that one for years and my hair loves it i will not i will never not use that so um but that's that's usually the con the only product that i typically don't don't like 
replenish or not replenish but that's typically the only product that i use religiously and don't you know replace it with anything else so but i'll go through some shampoos um but yeah so as you can see my hair is super manageable ain't nothing like a fresh relaxer so and it's you know i don't have to i didn't have to detangle it or anything when i was in the shower so um, i like that relaxer it's really nice um if you guys want um to use it i'll try to link it if I can find it, I got it at Walgreens. I typically get mine from the um, beauty supply store, but I had a little Walgreens to get some other stuff. So I just went ahead and got the uh, relaxer from there. So I just pretty much did any mini money mo. Um, but yeah, so that is the finished product with it being wet. So, ooh, I need to cut it. It's so uneven. Like look how uneven that is. <laughs> I need to definitely cut it and as you can see like my hair like I said my hair grows so fast like it was to my chin probably I don't know a couple of weeks ago and now it was definitely almost to my shoulder so yeah I definitely need to cut it um I probably should cut it while it's wet but I'll wait and do it tomorrow when I take out the deep conditioner so uh, because I will sit here and play with my hair forever <laughs> let me show um, you guys the hair treatment or the hair mask that i'm gonna put in and this is by eden body works it's the hair mask treatment this has coconut butter shea butter in it so i'm gonna put this all throughout my hair so i'm just gonna put it in like a little moisturizer or something because um i don't all the time put a mask in my hair every time that i um relax my hair but my hair is kind of brittle um prior to putting on the relaxer it's kind of brittle which i know you probably shouldn't put a relaxer on when your hair is brittle but um my hair is pretty resilient i will say that um it can take a licking and keep on ticking but uh, I, I just like i said i've been doing my hair for 20 years now um and doing my relaxer for 20 years so i know what my hair needs and it's definitely it definitely needs a mask of some sort to help with just the brittleness and the dryness because it's the summertime so it tends to be dry in the summertime just be from the heat and getting me getting in the pool and stuff like that so um but yeah so it definitely needs a mask so i'm going to give it a little extra treatment here by putting like an overnight mask in it um, plus it needs it because of the fact that i just put a relaxer which you know further weakens your hair so um, i say all this because um you know I should have put the disclaimer at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to put it here. Um, you ever, you know, what works for some don't work for everybody. So just because this works for me doesn't mean it works for you. I definitely wouldn't, I wouldn't, if, if you never put a relax in your hair before, I definitely would not try to do your first one by yourself. Like definitely get someone to do it for you. And then you definitely don't need to get relaxer if your hair is like super damaged. Like, yeah, don't even, don't even do it. <laughs> Just don't even do it, girl, if your hair is like super damaged. Um, like I said, I've been doing this for 20 something years now, so I know what my hair can take. So you just kind of, you definitely have to know your hair. If you're a newbie to doing your own hair, I definitely wouldn't, you know, recommend experimenting with a relaxer because it can jack your hair up. I've seen horror stories of women who put, you know, relaxers in their hair, or even if they go and get it done at the, you know, beauty, uh, at the beauty salon, you know, I've heard horror stories of women hair falling out yeah you don't want you don't want that drama girl um but like i said you know we all got to start somewhere and i started in college um and really my mom was doing my relaxers prior to that so i've been relaxed for several years probably my most of my life most of my adulthood most of my childhood i've been relaxed so i know what my hair can take so just take that as you will and as a disclaimer Definitely do not try this at home if you are not familiar with putting in your own relaxers. But if you wanna, this is just basically for those who have put in their own relaxers or do, and you just wanna see like a different technique, you know, or if you wanna, you know, uh, find new products to use. If like you notice that, you know, the products aren't producting <laughs> the way that they should as far as the ones that you've been using, maybe some of the products that I've been using, you could try out and see. Um, but again, you even do that at your own risk too, so but just to show you guys my routine because i get a lot of questions about my hair and even not even not even on like youtube and like people that i see in the street or when i'm at at work or whatever they 
ask me about my hair and they wonder why my hair is so thick and um, it's not really, most people think I am natural and girl I am not, I'm tech slack. So can you imagine how hard, how difficult it would be for me to do my hair if I was, um, if I was natural girl? No, my daughter is natural and it, and her, her hair is thick like mine. So yeah, I would never get out of the house <laughs> if I was natural too. I tried to go natural uh, when I first had my daughter. And I realized that when I realized real quick that wasn't gonna work. No, not for me. Maybe when she starts doing her own hair, or when she, you know, definitely, yeah, definitely when she starts probably doing her own hair, I might decide to go natural. Um, but until then, girl, I do what works for me. So, all right. So that is all of the conditioner or the leave-in. I'm using it as a leave-in anyway, um, or the mask. I think I got my hair saturated enough to where it is going to do what it needs to do overnight so and y'all don't judge me y'all like please don't judge me i forgot to get um when i went and got this relaxer today because i did buy this today i forgot to get a shower cap to put over this so don't judge me but i'm just gonna use like an old i'm gonna use the bag that <clears throat> my relaxer came in and i'm gonna put this over my head to protect my head um or my hair really from getting any product on my pillow um so yeah, don't y'all judge me. I know this is ghetto, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And yeah, I want this to sit on my hair through the night because like I said, my hair could use a good deep conditioner, um, especially after getting your hair relaxed. So, but that's it. And then I'm gonna just put my um, my little bonnet, my night bonnet on. Actually, I'll put it on now, might as well, because I'm gonna put it on anyway. And that's it, guys. That is my relaxer routine. So um, in the morning, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get up and wash this out in the shower and then I'm gonna style it up. So I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. So good morning, everyone. Um, it is the next day. So as you can see, I have uh, washed out the dip conditioner because as you saw I did decondition my hair after I put the relaxer in so It is the next day. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. So I just got out of the shower and washed out all of the um, Deep conditioner and I just blow dried my hair as you can see so and I didn't do it on camera But I did actually trim my ends a little bit because it was very uneven So I didn't realize how even uneven it was until it was wet. So I did that um, prior to drying it so um, but this is it. This is the final result of my relaxer. As you can see, my hair is not super bone straight just from it being just so thick. Um, and yeah, I just love it. So I'm going to put some of my argan oil in it just to kind of moisturize it a little bit because I have done a lot of manipulation and heat between heat and the actual relaxer itself. My hair needs a little bit of oil and I like to use that oil because it's lightweight it's nothing too heavy the oil i use to moisturize my scalp that oil is very heavy so i don't put it all over my hair um just because it just makes my hair too heavy and just makes it too greasy and too oily so um i typically just put that on my scalp because that's kind of where i want the moisture to be is in my scalp um just because i have issues with dandruff and just my hair being flaky so um but yeah, so this is the finished result. Like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit of um, some hair oil in it to further moisturize it. Um, the the uh, deep conditioner definitely helped it a lot because I can tell it feels very strong. It doesn't feel as brittle um, as it did before I um, put in the deep conditioner. So it's very just bouncy as you can see and just just very strong it feels very strong so um yeah so this is or that is my relaxer routine so i was gonna curl my hair today but girl the way this humidity set up mm -mm, i'm not i'm not because by the time like i go throughout my day the hair is gonna drop and i would have done all that work for nothing so i'm basically just gonna put my hair in like a little sleep back bun just to you know, I did all that work just putting in a bun, but yeah, I'm just gonna put it back in a slick back bun if I can 
I'm thinking it's probably too short now to be able to put it back there, but girl, we gonna get it. We gonna get it in a bun. And that is what, um, how we gonna be doing this, rocking this hair today, so. But um, I hope you guys got um, a little bit of info or insight into my relaxer routine. And like I said, um, as a disclaimer yesterday, or last night, you know, um, if you're not used to doing your own relaxers, then please don't do it the first time by yourself. Please go see a licensed professional, um, you know, a hairstylist that specializes in relaxers. Because um, I would assume all hairstylists specialize in relaxers, but you just never can be too careful. So, um, and I like to put my hair in a sleep back bun right after a relaxer just because I don't have to worry about like using like any kind of gel or anything like that or edge control because my hair is pretty much um pretty much uh you know slick back enough from the perm or the relaxer that i don't even have to go through all that so that's what i love about a fresh relaxer is i can put my hair back and not have to worry about putting any gel on it so but yeah this is how it looks just super shiny and just really needed that so all right so i'm gonna finish attempting to put this in a little bun of some sort and then um get dressed and yeah we're gonna start the rest of this day or start this day i should say um i'm gonna do so on the agenda today because i always tell y'all what we're gonna do today so on the agenda today um i'm gonna open up do some unboxings i just have a whole bunch of stuff that um i haven't had a chance to show you guys here so it's i've accumulated a whole bunch of stuff over the past couple weeks so um i might as well show it to you in this vlog so i'm gonna do that and then um probably go get a pedicure and then go get some groceries because we are out of, at my house and i forgot to do i got so busy and tied up doing that darn doing my darn relaxer last night that i forgot to order my groceries online so i'm gonna actually have to go to the store and buy groceries if you can believe it <laughs> like like who does that <laughs> um but no anyway i'm gonna go get my groceries um and then come back and i want to do like a teacher's um back to school for teachers outfits um just kind of i was gonna do a separate video but i figured i was gonna do it in this video because um some of the stuff the pieces that i have new in um, i'm gonna use some of those pieces to style up in the teacher's outfit video so or in the teacher's outfits um inspo so i'm just gonna do it in this video if i can squeeze it all in this video so this probably is going to be a long vlog <laughs> i feel like it's already long but um i like long vlogs because especially long vlogs where somebody's actually doing something so and we're doing a lot today so all right so i'm gonna try to work with this hair y'all because now it's so like the bot the back of it or the my hair is so thick it's really hard to get into this bun so i'm gonna work with this real quick and then put some clothes on and then we're gonna check out what's new in my wardrobe so be right back All right guys, so we are in my dressing room now. I've gotten dressed as you can see. And we're gonna start opening up all this stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not gonna pan down because some of the stuff is showing my address. So it's it's really not a lot of stuff. It just looks like a lot of boxes. And I'm a little overwhelmed. Some of the stuff I've opened up, so, but some of the stuff I haven't. So we're just gonna go with the stuff that I've already opened. So the first thing I got, this is from Bloomingdale's. Uh, yeah, this is the first box. So it's just a pair of shoes that I bought from Bloomingdale's. I've been falling in love with ballet flats. I mean, the obsession is real. So I saw a pair on Bloomingdale's from the brand Kurt Geiger. I love this little brand and I love their packaging too. So these are some ballet flats because like I said, I've been going crazy over the ballet flats. And I know some people don't like them, especially the ones that are round toe. You know i say to each their own but i love them um but i just saw these and just knew i had to have them i saw something similar on mango but they sold out of them so i went scouring the internet and found these on kurt geiger so they are so cute and like i said i've already opened this up so i tried on the one pair or tried on one shoe and they're so comfortable so here are the shoes and they are the most extra shoes um they're ballet flats but with a twist if you will so but here's how they look 
and they have like a little strap detail here um, kind of gives that Mary Jane kind of style if you will and this has like little rivets here so they are so cute um, it's just so dainty and very like Chanel-esque if you will um, but yeah they are so extra with the sparkles and shine like so cute so um, I'm gonna actually style these up in one of my teacher outfits I'm gonna do later on so stay tuned for that to see how they look on my feet but yeah I love these and I got mine in a nine and a half I believe yeah it says 40 and a half because when it comes to ballet flats um, I tend to either get my true size or I size down and so I got my true size in these because I wasn't sure um, about the fit but they fit me just fine and they are such impeccable quality so so that is the first thing I got um, and that's just yeah my little ballet flats that I can't wait to wear I feel like I want to bust those out and wear those today to run my errands um, all right the next thing I got is something from Amazon it's just some one-off thing that I got from Amazon let's see what else is in here this is from Amazon too so I don't even know what's in here um, but the first package I got is just um, I've already opened this up and one of them I was actually gonna style up in a reels that I'm gonna do I don't know when I'm gonna film it but I bought anyway I bought some little um, capri leggings and I came in a three pack so because I can wear these to like um, lounge around the house I can wear them to work out in if I work out um, and then I can just wear them like out and about so I've been seeing like styled up the capri leggings with like um, like an oversized blazer and with like some little kitten heels or something and I've just been loving that look it's just very 60s and just retro to me and I didn't have any capri leggings so and these are really good quality like so nice and soft it kind of reminds me of like some pantyhose or stockings or something um, but they are really thick though um, I tried these on the other day and was impressed because they're really thick like I feel like yeah you they're not see-through at all like you know how sometimes when you stretch these leggings out and you can see through they're not even see-through so I love these um, I may go back on there and get me some more colors but you can't go wrong with black but like I said they come in a three pack I got three packs of black because um, like I said I just wear these a lot as it is so it's good to have different ones so that when one is in the wash you'll have another one to wear so but yeah I just got some little capri leggings and I think they were pretty reasonable I mean it's Amazon so Amazon is pretty reasonable um if you guys can't tell I'm just kind of stuffy um I just got over like this month has been a month <laughs> it's been a real month this uh, month um so my kids started school beginning of August uh, my daughter's birthday is also at the beginning of August so that whole week first week of August I'm just kind of like running around like a chicken with my head cut off to get them ready for school and then to get things prepared for her birthday because she is the only one in the family who just like loves like her birthday like I love my birthday but my daughter is like she goes all out and wants us to go all out so I'm scrambling to like get things done for her so yeah so that week that the first week of August I was busy doing that the second week of August I got food poisoning from Taco Bell I think I've already mentioned that in one of my previous vlogs and so yeah I was I think yeah I mentioned that because I told you guys that um, I was running off to the bathroom with the bubble gun. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was food poisoning because I'm pretty sure that's where that that little sickness came from because I got sick the immediately after I ate that food. Then the next week, I'll be doggone it, I got COVID. So yes, I did get COVID um, and had to kind of. That's why my videos have kind of been all over the place and very sporadic and just really not even uh none and non-existent is because i've been dealing with so much and i've you know been sick and i'm still kind of stuffy um i felt tons better like i didn't have like the major symptoms that a lot of people had i just had like a headache of course the stuffiness and i think i had some body aches for a couple of days in the beginning of it but that got better um but yeah so and then top to you know top it off this week um we just celebrated or i don't even know if you want to call it celebrate we just um yeah just got i guess celebrated the anniversary of um my mother-in-law's passing because she passed or we had her funeral rather um laid her to rest um this month it was august 22nd i believe so so on top of all the stuff i've been dealing with and you know dealing with that sad part of my life too so it's 
this month has been monthing. So as you can, I guess I just did a little retail therapy just because of this month. This month has been crazy, y'all. It's got to get better, right? Like it gets worse, I feel like, before it gets better, right? So I'm hopeful for September. September is going to be a good month. I'm not going to be sick. I'm not going to be sad. It's going to be a month of happiness and joy. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and claim it. So, but anyway, let's get back into the haul. I just thought I would do like a little update with you guys. Um, but yeah, so the next thing I got from Amazon, I got these little clips, these velvet hanger clips. I saw another YouTuber talking about these, and I'm always trying to figure out how to hang up stuff that, like my um, like shorts and like skirts and stuff. So I just got these little velvet little, what do they call it? Velvet hanger clips. So basically you can just hang this on your velvet hangers because I have all my wardrobe is pretty much velvet hangers. Like, oh, as a matter of fact, here's one here. So basically how it goes is you just put the, of course you can put two on here, but you just kind of put it through the little hanger there and then you can hang up your garment here. So obviously I would have another one here. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was a little unique or a good little tool to have so that way you're not having to spend money on more hangers when you can just the existing hangers that you have you can just put these little hanger clips on there so and this came in a pack i got two i think it came with a came with a two pack i don't know how many is in here um doesn't even say how many are in here but it's a lot it came with a whole bunch um and i got this from amazon like i said so yeah so that's just one good way to um hang up like your pants and your like bottoms really like pants and skirts and stuff and you're not having to buy a whole bunch of more hangers because i already have a lot of velvet hangers that i don't that i don't even use so i can just put those clips on there so um but yeah so that's all the stuff that i got from amazon i think i showed these if not i've definitely showed these on my like to know it app so if you're not following me over there definitely follow me over there because i do outfit and spoke over on my um like to know it um and of course the pieces you can shop them too so um so the next thing i got are some pair of shoes and like i said i think i've already shown these before and so once i saw them i knew i had to get them because i had shared them enough to where i was like you know what i like those shoes so let me get them um and they're just some denim little mules i love denim and so yeah i got these little denim uh, mules and i got mine i think i got them in a size 10. um let me move this box got these in a size 10 and just absolutely love these like these will be cute with like oh these are so cute on my feet i'm gonna have to style these up um i don't know if this will be if a teacher will wear these to school <laughs> i don't think teachers wear heels to school i don't know maybe some do i guess like the administrative um teachers i guess that are working administration wear something like this so i don't know i may style these up in um the later on in the video on the teacher's outfits um portion of this video i may style these up so y'all can see how they look but they are so cute like i love a good mule like i'll get them i'll wear a mule over any other type of shoe and yeah i just love like this um pointy toe part here detail and they're denim so love those and I can dress those up or dress those down. I got a lot of shoes in this um, haul, just so y'all know. From Revolve, I don't hardly ever shop. I don't think I've ever shopped on Revolve. Um, I do see a lot of their pieces and I'm gonna have to move this stuff around y'all. I got so much stuff everywhere. Um, but I saw this handbag on Revolve and just thought it was really pretty. So I wanted to try it out. And it's just like in this, um, woven detail which I just absolutely love and so here is the bag and as you can see it's just really pretty and nice and just rich it definitely looked a little bit redder um, on the website than it does in person in person it definitely looks more brown tone but it definitely looked I guess and even on camera it kind of looks like a reddish like a red like it has red undertone which it still does have a red undertone to it um but definitely as i'm looking at it here on camera it definitely looks more red than it does with me just looking at it here but i don't know it's just a little cute little tote bag and like this woven detail definitely gives me bottega vibes and i wished it was more red tone because that's really why i got it um it's because i like the red tone um but it's definitely like a chocolate brown with a little bit, a little hint of red undertone to it. But it's just a little tote bag. 
So I fall in love with tote bags. And so, and it has like a little pouch in here. Um, I'm not going to really do a whole review on this, but I'll probably style this up later because I thought this would be a cute little bag for like teachers to carry um that want to be you know look chic as they go to school so you can put your work stuff in here so um but i love it it's really pretty i just wish that the color was more how it looks on the website because it definitely looked more red i don't know i guess from far away i guess from far away i don't know it looks more red but it's definitely not as red as i thought it was gonna be all right so now we're gonna do the stuff from j crew I did pick up some things from there. Um, so let me just open this up, this one little box. Um, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, this one little box has my necklace in it. Um, but it's just like a little pearl necklace. I thought this was so cute and just so, just gives me that preppy vibes. I have some pearl necklaces, but I don't have like a single pearl necklace. And I thought this was just cute and dainty and yeah so yeah i got this from j crew the outlet i think i got it from the factory j crew factory um it was on sale i got it when they were having like that whole like 50 percent off but one thing i've realized about j crew factory is they always have a sale so um but yeah i saw this little pearl necklace and just had to get it i've just been loving pearls I'm trying to think what i got i've had this stuff for a minute the j crew stuff i've had the longest so um oh yeah so I got these sunglasses. These are, I showed these as well on my channel because these, I, I did like a dupes video and these I said were a dupe of the Celine Triumphs. And so here are the J. Crew version. And so I just love these. Um, they're really good quality too. So um, yeah, they're just like in this tortoise shell, just like this oval type of a, yeah, like an oval type of a frame and yeah just absolutely love these and they definitely are a dupe definitely are a dupe of the celine ones so if you want the celine look without the celine price i highly recommend them i think they're still available online they kind of been going in and out of stock but um yeah i love these i may wear those today i thought that would be cute with my bag so i thought that would be cute together i don't know if you can see but i thought they would be cute together with the tortoise shell with this um woven detail bag but yeah it kind of goes yeah definitely goes together so yeah definitely gonna wear those two together so yeah i love these sunglasses i was a little worried that they were not gonna look the way that i want them to but yeah and i don't have any sunglasses like that so love those and then the next thing i got is just a little sweatshirt i've been going crazy with the sweatshirts and it just has 1983 on it definitely gives me collegiate vibes and it just has like the little j crew thing on the back and this i got in 2x because i wanted it to be really big and oversized and girl it still looks like it's not big enough it's not it's not as oversized as i wanted it to be so um hopefully when i try it on it'll be it'll be bigger than i thought but it's definitely smaller than i thought like i feel like j crew stuff runs small so that's why i went up to 2x but it's definitely not yes yeah, not as big and oversized as i wanted it to be so we'll try it on and see but i just love the navy color so and i just thought it looked really cute and preppy and the next thing i got girl i don't know what i was thinking about this this is just like a little um squirt and it's kind of like a little tennis squirt and it's in this white and i don't even know what i was thinking when i got this i don't know girl like i guess i was thinking about you know my tennis some tennis vibes or something like i'm gonna go play tennis somewhere or something i am definitely definitely not gonna go play any tennis i don't know i probably should try to find a new hobby or new something you know new like activity to do to keep me active but it's just like a little tennis sport and they had them in other colors i think they had it in blue and they had it in black i think the black sold out um i don't know they might be available back back in stock the black because i wanted it in the black too but and my daughter was like if i don't like it and it doesn't fit then she wants it so we'll see we'll see um and it's just the skirt is all the way around so it's some you know how some skirts will have like where you can see is as shorts in the back but it's definitely it's like the skirt is all around so and i thought it would be cute with this like y'all i don't know what i was thinking about with that i guess i was reliving my college days when um i uh 
purchased that. So we'll see how that looks on. All right, and then the final things I got are from Zara. I opened this piece up already. It's just a one-off piece. And this is, I think these are the trousers. Yeah, these are some trousers that I got. You probably can't see it, but I think I'm gonna style this up in my teacher outfits um, portion of the video because I thought this would be cute for something that a teacher could wear to school. Um, but yeah, it's just like in this geometric print, definitely gives me toe Tim vibes. Um, and so, yeah, so I saw that and I had to have that. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of clothes. Let me actually find the piece that went, where is it? I don't even think it's in here. The, I got a blazer to go with this, um, these sh pants and I don't even see it in here. Let me open up this other stuff. Maybe it's in something else, but all right. So the first thing I got from this other box is just this little light little bucket bag. And I just thought this was so cute and chic and I didn't have anything like this. And I love like the canvas print detail. I love handbags with like this canvas print. So, and I love the brown. So yeah, so, and this looks pretty roomy and pretty spacious too. So I just thought that would be cute like a little fall handbag cute little fall handbag so um so yeah so that is the first thing i got and then i got a few of these like little brooches um i love the color of this one i love this color i don't even know what you call it like a gold color but yeah so i got two got one black and one like this gold color and as you can see it's huge like it is a huge brooch compared to like my head look how big this thing is so but you know we're getting into the brooch season where i like to wear brooches like on my um blazers and sometimes sweaters so we're getting into that season of wearing, you know bringing out the brooches girl so i just wanted something different the ones that i the brooches that i do have they're more like designer like ysl i have a ysl brooch i have a um gucci one i have a chanel one so just so that I'm not like screaming, you know, designer. I thought these would be cute to, you know, style up with some of my blazers. So looking forward to styling those up. And then I got another, like one of those canvas print handbags. And this in, this one is like in this half moon shape, which I love. And it's super small. So um, I don't know what's all going to fit in here. Probably not gonna be able to fit much in here, but that's okay. Cause I like these kind of bags to like go errand, run errands and stuff. So it comes with like a little strap, and the strap looks like it's adjustable. This is like really good quality. Like, and I'll be doggone. This is the second time this has happened that the um, little thing, the little sensor, has come on my stuff. Like, I don't know what that's a sign of. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign I need to stop shopping. But this one looks like I can probably just cut this off. Um, that's so weird that this keeps happening that they're just, I don't know, people are just being careless when they're shipping their stuff out, I feel like. Like, people are just like, whatever, I don't care. Um, but anyway, so this is what these, this little handbag looks like, and it's super cute, and, um, just chic. Again, I love this canvas print, and I love it with the black, too. So I have one with brown and one with black, so I can kind of switch it up, depending on what I'm wearing, so. But, love, love this, but it's just so funny. I got another item with a sensor on it. So weird um and then the next thing i got is this um little snail necklace if you if you will and this um i was curious because i've been seeing a lot of these necklaces with like this little shell detail so i thought that would be cute and i know we're like coming off ending summer now so it's not really you know a fall piece but i'm still gonna wear it because i love it and it has like this little braided detail on it so um, I just thought that was a cute little accessory to style up. So, the blazer that this goes to is missing. Like, I don't know if it's in another package or what, but the blazer that these pants, these trousers went to is not in here. And I'm just like, where is it? I feel like, though, I misplace it because I feel like I... I feel like I had that blazer. I don't know. Maybe I need to. Yeah, I definitely need to call customer service because the blazer is not here. Because there's a matching blazer. I'll pop it on the screen so you guys can see it. But it came with a matching blazer. And I wanted that blazer because I was going to wear the blazer with the little leggings too. So, ugh, I'm annoyed. Goodness gracious. Um, but, 
so that's everything y'all um that's a, that's enough right um so everything that i showed you guys i will link down in the description box in case you're interested in anything and yeah um i'll hopefully style up some of these pieces a little bit later on in like my teacher's little outfits video so i'm missing a piece so i'm annoyed that i can't even style that up so but anywho so all right guys so i'm gonna get this stuff all this mess up and then get ready to go because i don't know if i'm gonna wear this today because it's just like a little button-up shirt and i have like on some some shorts on just like some little cut off shorts so i don't know if i want to wear this or if i want to change it to something else so but we'll see all right so i'll be back after i am done um cleaning up all this mess and then i'll have my final outfit for the day so all right i'll be right back all right guys so here is the outfit of the day and i don't know i think maybe my, it might be too dressy just to be going to the grocery store and i'm going to walmart <laughs> of all places so i don't know this probably is too chic for walmart but it's a nice day it's sunny outside it's pretty it's hot though but it's nice outside so and this gives me kind of fall vibes so maybe i can you know bring on the fall weather with this fall <laughs> outfit uh, um, but i love this color combination so um, but yeah, so I just have on, from starting from the top, I have on, I decided to pop out or to try out the sunglasses today that I got from J. Crew. So I'm going to wear those today because they go perfectly with the handbag. And then this two-piece set is from Zara. It's just a vest and a little skirt. So love it. Um, I just recently showed this from Zara in another haul. And then I'm going to give this my little new tote bag i'm gonna give it a little whirl today give it a little tester today and see how well it is it's really good quality um and it's by all saints by the way i don't even think i mentioned the brand um this is all saints via revolve so um but yeah i love it it's so structured and just yes yeah, everything i love it so i'm gonna give it a little whirl today give it a little test out a little you know run and see how it um does today and then on my feet i just have on like some little birkenstock dupes that i got from asos and like this uh brown color similar to my outfit so um and then my fragrance of the day which i forgot to show y'all the other items that i got in that are new um so let me just show you real quick um i got these butter glosses from nyx i don't even know if it's going to focus or not yeah so i got these new little butter glosses from nyx i got tiramisu um tiramisu and what's the other one caramel caramel so this one is more like it's like your lips but better and this tiramisu is like a cute light pink that i can wear um with like um what do you call it like little lip uh pencils or whatever i can fill in my lips with my little lip pencil by mac um it's called cork and then i can put this pink one on top so and then this brown one is just like i said like a your lips bit better and i actually have it on today um you probably can't see but yeah i have the brown one on today um so yeah so i got those from ulta me and my husband ran some errands yesterday so i'm going to continue on running today because he's had to go to work um or go out to do some stuff for work um and then i bought a new fragrance um this one is called alien goddess by um Mugler, and i just absolutely love it to me it smells a little bit like my ysl libre that i have so i think that's why i loved it so much my daughter actually found she found a sample of this in the mail like you know how you get those samples in the mail and so yeah she found a sample of it and let me smell it because she knows i love fragrances and i just fell in love so yeah so that is some of the um new stuff that i got and from as far as like beauty stuff so just thought i would share that stuff with you guys so um yeah oh, it just fell so we're gonna get out of here um it's almost 11 o'clock so i think i'm gonna run by starbucks and get me some coffee before i go to the grocery store um an update on my little blazer as y'all know i <laughs> pitched the fit because that blazer was not in that bag um but i went on the website and actually the blazer is coming tomorrow which is a friday so yeah so i'm gonna get the blazer just not gonna get it today so i think what i'm gonna do because i know this vlog is already gonna be super long is i'm gonna just do a whole video on um teacher outfits work outfits i'm just gonna do a whole video just yeah just so we're not trying to i'm not trying to cram it into this video 
Um, so stay tuned for that. So sorry, I'm not going to do it today, but it is coming because I want a, I have a few more pieces that are coming that I want to style up for that video. Um, like I, I also got some stuff from Dish that I think is coming today. So yeah, I got a few more things that I want to uh, style up for that video that I think are more like teacher appropriate outfits. So I'm just going to wait and just do that whole video. I probably will post it on Sunday. Um, I have been doing like, I, start, I said I was going to do like Pinterest inspired outfits every week. Um, and I was going to do them on Sunday. So I think what I'm going to do is just not do the Pinterest inspired video this week, this Sunday. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it, um, just do it next Sunday and do the teacher outfit video on Sunday for you guys. So, cause I promised that I would do that video. So I don't want to not, you know, keep my word. So, um, but that's enough rambling. So I think that's enough updates. So we're going to get out of here. Um, and yeah, we're going to make it a great day and I hope you guys are having a good day so far. And yeah, so let's just get out of here, girl. get a bacon, bacon, gouda, and egg sandwich. That's you all. You want anything on that cold girl? Do what now? You want anything on that cold girl? Uh, no. Alright, you said you wanted, what size did you want for that? Uh, grande. Alright, and you said you wanted the gouda egg bites? The sandwich. The bacon, gouda, and egg sandwich. Okay, can I get it? That's it. Uh, Alright guys, so I am at Walmart in the grocery store getting ready to go pick up my groceries. And I got this. This is definitely not what I thought it was going to be. This is the vanilla cream cold brew. I thought it was going to be the one that tastes like a milkshake because it's hot today and I feel like a milkshake but I didn't want I wanted a coffee to wake me up. So this definitely is not what I thought it was going to be. But it's not bad. It tastes like the one I make at home. So it'll just have to do so. Alright, so let me go in here and get my groceries so that I can get back home and work on food for, I guess, today. Later on today. So, Alright, so let's go. All right, guys. So I have made it home, and I've already like put in, put put up my groceries. And um, sorry, it's gonna be a little dark here. So I've already put up the groceries. I didn't film it or anything. Just because I wanted to hurry up and get it done, because um, I got a lot of groceries. Um, and then, oh yeah. So I'm at home now. If you if you hadn't already noticed, and so yeah, so. I'm gonna change clothes real quick because I'm just gonna lounge around the house. I was trying to debate on whether or not I was gonna go and get a pedicure, but I think, oh, I'm so out of breath. I need to exercise y'all. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think I'm just gonna hang out a little bit at the house for a little bit. I was gonna start, start cooking the spaghetti because I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight. Um, <clears throat> but I think I'm just gonna wait because it's only like, I think it's like 12 30 what time is it it's like 12 45 so and my kids don't get home until like after four or five o'clock so um i may just wait and start cooking a little bit later and like i said go get a pedicure tomorrow so just to have you know give me something to do for tomorrow so so i'm not doing everything today so but yeah so that's one thing off my to-do list was to get some groceries so um i think i'm just gonna chill out for the rest of or for the next few hours maybe watch a little bit of YouTube. I need to clean my sheets, change the sheets on my bed because it's time to do that. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then just chill and relax. Um, yeah, so um, I forgot to show you guys my jewelry too before I left out. So I just have on these little drop earrings. These are similar to the Bottega ones, but not really. I got these from actual, or I got these from Amazon. So um, I got these before I got the really big ones that are Bottega dupe. Um, but the big ones, I thought that was a little too fancy. For, first of all, for this outfit and then to go grocery shopping at Walmart. And I still felt a little fancy when I was in there. 
because people were looking at me like I mean they were smiling at me like oh look at her she's dressed up you know so it wasn't like you know people were like staring like you know how people stare and then how people look at you you have people that stare and you have people that look at you they were looking they were not staring they were looking like oh she's she looks cute you, you know um but anywho so yeah i think what i had on was a little too dressy especially for the walmart that i just went to girl uh, um, but anyway, so yeah, so those earrings, the little, the bigger drop earrings that are like a Bottega dupe, I thought those were too, too big and too much just to go to the grocery store. So I just put these small ones on, which I thought these were perfect for the outfit. And then I just have on like this two thing, what do you call this? Like a paper clip and pearl necklace. I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, this I got from Shein. Then I just have on some simple little jewelry or little rings this one i think is from shein the one on my ring finger this these two i think are from shein too or maybe amazon and then i just have on another one from um shein and then like some little b uh bamboo bracelets that i got i don't even know where i got these from probably from like the flea market or something and then of course my little um apple watch so so that's the uh, jewelry that I had on. I forgot to mention that earlier before I left. So, um, but I'm going to get out of this actually because I'm at home now. Like I said, I probably won't do anything else today besides cook um, dinner for tonight. And then um, we'll see what, what happens after that. So, all right. So I will see you guys and catch up with you guys in a little bit later. As you just, just saw, I just finished cooking dinner for my family. So about to go and get ready to go eat that because it looks so good. Um, I just want to come on here and close out the vlog real quick. And also to show you that I also got my little order from Dish. So I'll be showing those pieces in the teacher outfits video that I'm going to do. So that'll be the next video that you guys will see. So um, sorry, I promise you I'll do it in this video. But this vlog is already too long so yeah we can't we can't add the outfits video in this video so um but the next video you'll see is the teacher um back to school back to work outfits video so um just be sure to stay tuned for that so um i hope you enjoyed the vlog i hope you enjoyed you know spending the day with me i hope you enjoyed my relaxer routine which you would have seen at the beginning of the video um i hope you got some you know kind of insight into how i do my hair so and also some of my you know pieces that are new in my wardrobe um, be sure to check down in the description box because i'll put everything down there including everything that i wore today so um i thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video all right bye guys